Okay, hey, um, you guys are more than six feet away, so we don't need that. Welcome to Lunch with Andy. I've got some Noble Romans pizza. This is kind of a new thing for Kokomo. Pretty excited about having Noble Romans, my favorite pizza today. But we're not gonna eat on camera. My mom told me that's kind of rude. So anyway, we're gonna talk about sensors today. Sensors and things you can use to help with your autonomous challenges at home. So there's a lot of teams that entered and applied to be part of the autonomous at home challenges. And um, there's gonna be interviews and there's gonna be pictures of your robot and videos of your robot, what it can do. You might wanna use some sensors and tools to help you with your autonomous movements, either if it's an autonomous mode itself or just autonomous functions within the structure of your robot. There's all kinds of sensors and things you can use on your robots. A lot of teams use encoders for driving. We have encoders on a lot of our motors. A lot of teams use IMUs, which is a navigation circuitry. We sell a couple of those. One of the most popular is the NavX navigation chip from Kawai Labs. A very simple thing that teams use for distance sensing and large object sensing would be an ultrasonic sensor. Many of you have these on your cars and it, that detects things that you're backing up against. So your car might beep or something like that if these things are on your bumper to tell you that there's something in the way as you back up. Also, we have the limelight vision system, which is really truly a system. It's not just lights and a camera, but it, it also includes software programs that were pre-written for you that the robot could use to help find objects or find targets to shoot at, those types of things. Many teams use this very successfully. Um, there's a LiDAR, LiDAR Light 3, that helps you map objects on the field. You can see what things are in the way, no matter what your orientation is. You can detect where those items are, not depending on color, but more so depending on hard surface objects and what it detects. Um, we've got a photoelectric sensor from Banner. This is a very popular reflective sensor. So a lot of teams use this for object detection within the robot. So if, if you are grabbing a power cell or feeding it through your system, this would detect that power cell within your robot. So it tells your next motors and the conveyor system to turn on, or it tells your shooter to turn on to get ready to shoot the power cell. So this is for close detection of power cells within your robot. The Pixie camera is a, it's a cheaper version of a vision system. It doesn't have the software packages that Limelight has, but it has some pretty neat software included with it that will help you pick up the yellowness of the ball or the reflectiveness of the goal. And it's a tried and true vision system um, that's been used by many, many teams. We've also got the Sensor 6 pack here. It has different types of Hall Effect sensors on it, and it has a couple different photo diodes that can detect objects the sensor looks at them. So it's a very inexpensive sensor pack that you might want to use for your electrical and controls team. What kind of sensors in the big box? No, to your left. There's a, a taste sensor in here that's um, when you taste this, it triggers pleasure. It, it, there's a smell sensor in there, and initially it smells pretty good, but after there's a there's like a there's a delay, and the bad smells come a few days later with this with this sensor. I'm sure some of you have uh, let this type of sensor hang out in your robot shop, and after a few days, you'll notice the it gets it's it's a very strong sense of taste or smell that not very good. So watch out for that. G good luck everybody with your autonomous challenges. I hope that what you are programming works the first time on your robot. Good luck. Be safe. We'll see you next time. I need a piece of pizza. <laughs> Did you say pizza pizza? Are we sponsored by Little Caesars? No. I said a piece of pizza. Right, pizza, pizza. No, I said a piece, piece of pizza. Piece of pizza. Piece. Love and pizza. Piece of pizza. Love and pizza. That's that's a good. I'll I'll abide by that.